Hey, it's Jason from EnlightenedWebMastery.com. This video is about FeedBurner and WordPress integration. I'm going to cover the overview of how to integrate FeedBurner into your WordPress blog. This is part of the Blog in an Hour training series. You can find out more about Blog in an Hour by visiting bloginanhour.com. The course teaches you how to grow your blog in as little as an hour a day. Going through the course will teach you how to gain a lot of readers and provide massive value to your blog and your readers. This video is going to be quick and straight to the point. So you may be asking, why do I want to have RSS on my website? Well, the reason you want to have RSS on your website is so your readers can subscribe to your website and other websites can use your content on their website. The reason this is useful is because that can drive more traffic to your website and reach other visitors that may not otherwise visit your website. Now you may be wondering, well, why do I need FeedBurner? Doesn't WordPress already have an RSS feed? Well, you're correct. WordPress automatically creates a dynamic RSS feed, but the reason we want to use FeedBurner is it allows us to keep track on who is watching our feed, who is using our feed, if they click on our feed, and what they're looking for. This is very, very useful because if somebody's looking at certain feeds, you're going to want to keep giving them that kind of content. If everybody's looking at your content on card collecting, you're going to want to start writing more tutorials on card collecting. If everybody's reading about your cat, you're going to want to keep writing more tutorials about your cat. But if nobody's reading about your cat and everybody's looking at your card tutorials or your card articles, then you need to stop spending so much time blogging about your cat and focus more on the cards. So now you're probably wondering, how do I do this? How do I integrate WordPress with FeedBurner? Well, you can check out my article at enlightenedwebmastery.com. There I explain it in step-by-step -step basics. But this is a quick overview of what you need to do. What you need to do is go to feedburner.com and create an account. Then you need to go to Google and type in Feedsmith Plugin. I have the link on my website. You need to install the plugin by unzipping it and uploading it to your WP-Content folder that has the plugins folder. And then once you do that, you need to activate the plugin. Then you need to go under settings and choose feed burner. From there you put in your feed burner feed. Then you click save and then you give it a little bit of time and it will be working dynamically on your website. Now you, like I said you need to give it some time. This doesn't happen automatically but it will be working within about maybe five minutes. Whenever you post a new post on your blog it's also not going to be automatically updated on feed burners RSS feed. You have to give it a little bit of time but it will eventually be on there in no more than an hour. Now another thing you can do is try and provide some additional features for your user. First, whenever they try to go to your feed burner link so they can subscribe to your RSS feed, they're going to be given the option to add it to their My Google, their My Yahoo, to their news reader, their online reader, and this is very, very useful. But they might not know to click your subscribe link. FeedBurner has this thing called chicklets that allow you to put this nice little widget on your website that when they click it, they can subscribe to your RSS feed. Now you may also want to consider adding email subscriptions. This is very, very easy with FeedBurner. Whenever they type in their email address or click the button to sign up with their email address, they'll get an email showing your latest post. Now this is very, very nice and very useful. That way they can always get your latest updates and your latest posts and keep reading and stay in touch with what you're doing. Now this is pretty easy to do. After you already have your FeedBurner account set up, all you have to do is log into your account, click on the Publicize tab, and then choose Email Subscriptions need to activate that when you do that you're going to get some code you need to copy that code and paste it into a widget under WordPress you do this by going to your WordPress dashboard under appearance and then choosing widgets I discuss how to do this in my WordPress foundations course or book so you might want to check that out but after you've created a text widget and input the code from FeedBurner and save that widget you're good to go so I hope this video has helped you and I hope you'll check out the website and see the step-by-step -step guide in case you need some more help but what I really want you to do is after you've got this stuff set up I want you to start promoting your RSS feed on your website get more visitors because once you have those visitors reading your website using your RSS feed and they click you're gonna know what they're interested in that will allow you to create more valuable content for them and make your site much more useful for everybody so I hope you have fun and I hope you'll check out Enlightened Web Mastery for some more updates and information. And if you want to learn more about the Blog in an Hour program, check out bloginahour.com, all one word. This course teaches you how to grow your blog from zero to 500 to 1,000 readers in less than 12 weeks. 
So be sure to check that out. And while you're at it, go to enlightenedwebmastery.com and sign up for our list. And you might as well sign up for the RSS feed so you can see how that works. All right. Talk to you soon.